Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Dine with World. Today we are going to dive into the flavorful world of Italian cuisine, uh, known for its uh, simple preparation, fresh ingredients and mouth-watering flavors. Uh, we are going to bring uh, the Mediterranean right into our kitchen. And with us we have a very experienced, young, talented chef. He is at uh, Ziglini's at the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. Let's welcome Chef Zubair. Assalamu alaikum Zubair, how are you? Welcome uh, to Dine with World. He's coming after a very long time. How's life? First of all, wa alaikum assalam. Everything going good. What about you? Life is very busy, Zubair. For people uh, who've seen you for the first time, uh, would, you like, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, why not? Sure. So basically, I'm working in the Islamabad Mary Hotel. Hotel. Uh, Zigolini, it's an authentic Italian restaurant. Uh, now, the, for the time being, I am the supervisor of uh, Zigolini restaurant, yeah. and I'm running from last one year. And uh, but he's been impression. working for a very long time. Uh, he's been in this industry for uh, yeah. Uh, I've been working from last seven years wow. for Married Islamabad. So you you must have joined when you were very young. Yeah, I started my career uh, when I was uh, 18 years old. Okay. Yeah, I wow. started my career in teenage. So we have Zubair, he's taking time out. Um, just before we start the program, you know, assembling everything together, bringing everything together so that all of you watching Dine with World can, you know, learn something new and, you know, uh, cooking can be interesting again. Yeah. 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 If you have passion and you are uh, like, you like to cook for others, so you yes, enjoy definitely. your... Uh, Zubair, what are you going to teach us first? So today we have some interesting and uh, easy to cook Italian food. Uh, we have three courses, different mm -hmm. courses. We started with uh, our salmon salad. Uh, so Salmon salad with goat cheese? Yeah, it's crusted so goat cheese with uh, walnuts. Wow. It's very healthy. I'm sure it is. Uh, so let's go on to the ingredients. Uh, to make this recipe, you will be needing Fresh salmon, 100 grams, goat cheese, 30 grams, walnuts, 30 grams, arguella, 30 grams, radish, 10 grams, cherry tomatoes, 10 grams, orange juice, 30 milliliters, olive oil, 30 milliliters, salt and black pepper, according to your taste. Fresh salmon salad with goat cheese and walnuts. It's a very healthy, refreshing uh, recipe that combines rich, savory taste of salmon with the uh, tanginess of goat cheese. Yeah. yeah? What do you need? I'll help. So, we'll first start with uh, our salmon. It's very uh, fresh. It's basically Norwegian salmon. It's pink okay. salmon. It's highly nutritional value. Yeah, it has, it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids providing a, uh, providing good protein. Yeah, also. it's a yeah. very big source of protein. So we'll skin peel off and skin yeah. off the salmon first. It's very simple, easy. You see? So we have the skin, we have to move it. Okay. Now we have to finely cut our salmon in cubes. Right. It's uh, uh, salmon is very tender. Right? Yeah, it's very tender. So while you are also cooking it uh, or even sautéing it, I guess you just have to be careful. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, but uh, salmon is more tasteful yeah. than it's raw, right. not cooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we'll we didn't cook salmon. We'll use raw. Okay. okay. So this uh, is perfect for a light lunch or a dinner, uh, sure. offering a delicious bread, a blend of flavors and lots of good nutrients. If you are a health conscious, it's mm, best recipe yeah, for you. Definitely. So for those of you who have just joined in, we are making a fresh salmon salad with goat cheese and walnuts. And remember, we are not going to cook the salmon. This is going to be fresh. Uncooked rather. Yeah, it's uncooked. Okay, we have our salmon. Take the bowl. Put our salmon in it. Now we have to make a, a very nice, refreshing uh, orange dressing. Right. It's like uh, orange vinaigrette. Okay. 
I love different dressings, yeah? It yeah. just brings out the whole life in a salad, I would say. Yeah. If you are using a lemon dressing, orange lemon dressing, it's very, 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 you know, aromatic, very freshing. So I need your help also. Yeah, sure, definitely. So first we'll take the bowl. We need the uh, one clove of garlic. Right. We have to finely chop this one, okay. like this. Garlic will give the nice aroma and flavor also. As well. Have one clove of garlic. Garlic is uh, widely used in Italian cuisine yeah. because it adds so much of strength to a recipe. And even we pa Pakistanis love garlic. In every cuisine, we need garlic. Yeah. Okay. okay, here we have the fresh orange juice. Yum, right. Oh. Done. We'll lightly season. A pinch of salt, here we have, okay. and a pinch of black pepper, Perfect. that's it, that's it. And now we have to add olive oil. So I'll just repeat, uh, we are going to make the dressing, it's orange vinaigrette, we added garlic, orange juice, uh, black pepper and now we're adding olive oil. Yeah, I need your help. Of course. Can you pour some? Drizzle it. Yeah. Drizzle. And you slowly, it. slowly, 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 okay. like this. You have to put it slowly, slowly. You have to drizzle slowly, otherwise the ingredients are gonna separate okay, okay. more. Can you feel the aroma of garlic? Yes, yes, and the orange, orange juice. juice. Okay, done. We have our nice lemon dressing. Now we take the plate. Right. Okay, we have pile up over salad. Okay, we are using a fresh aragula salad. Uh, what is this? It's okay. aragula. Aragula? Okay. Yeah. We're not using too much we, because really we need salmon instead of that. We have to present. And is um, goat cheese the hero ingredient in this or? The hero ingredient is salmon. Salmon. Sure. Okay. And then we have the second hero is uh, goat cheese crusted with walnut. Okay, okay. So we put little bit of our orange dress. Yeah. Okay. So it's just it added it well. the orange dressing? Actually, orange dressing. Uh, it's make more flavor for salmon. Yeah. These molds are, of course, uh, available uh, in stores. Yeah, I'm sure it's at your home. It's easily available. Yeah. Actually, we have to make our uh, food more presentable. If it's Definitely. presentable, it's nicely presented, it's yeah. sure that it tastes good. Yeah. Okay. Here we have our almonds. We have chop, fine chop our wallets. So a little uh, info about walnuts everyone, uh, very healthy, uh, rich in antioxidants, walnuts have higher antioxidant activity than most other nuts. It helps to combat oxidative stress and reduce inflammation. 
Good for the heart, an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. Yeah. It supports heart health by reducing cholesterol levels and lowering blood pressure. There you go. So this looks very interesting. Yeah. You are crusting this or coating this with walnuts. Yes. Lovely. Um, walnuts are good for your brain and they're also shaped like your brain. You know, God is uh, uh, very creative, I would say. Uh, the high levels of um, DHA, a type of omega-3 fatty acid in walnuts, are very important for brain health. So even if you haven't included walnuts in your life, just it's never too late. You know, just, in, just include these healthy, small healthy, it's, it may seem small, like we're so used to taking pills, right? Yeah. And, uh, and, and you know, uh, what should we say, uh, multivitamins. But we don't really focus on our on our diet. I've started making little amendments in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I've started having olive oil thanks to our producer. Uh, he suggested having olive oil early morning, so I've started doing that. I have, do you try to make healthy adaptations to your life, Zubair? Yeah, I definitely. I uh, I I never had medications. Okay, fantastic. I, I'll totally depend on natural, organic things. Yeah, yeah. So it's better we take medicine. It's better we take. Why do we not take uh, uh, dry fruits, dry nuts, yeah. organic things? Yeah. So here we have our crusted well, this looks goat very cheese. Cute. Okay, now we make a little bit garnish on that. Mm. Also, uh, about goat cheese, for those who are lactose intolerant, it's easy to digest goat cheese. Um, it's high in protein, low in calories, uh, it has um, a lot of vitamin A, vitamin B2, calcium, phosphorus and iron, supports overall health and it has healthy fats so they are metabolized quickly and uh, of course uh, proteins are very important in muscle repair, so many functions in your body. So if you can't have uh, you know, cheese made from cow's milk, goat cheese is a very good substitute. And also, some varieties of goat cheese are rich in probiotics, so it means it's going to help you maintain a very dig healthy gut, good for your digestion. Cherry tomatoes, that's yeah. so cute. Which will give the color this salad as taste as well. So you know, when you're watching, uh, well, dine with world, and we have, you know, chefs from five star hotels with outside the Islamabad Marriott, you get to learn so much. Just um, you see, he's added a few beautiful small edible flowers, and uh, yes, it requires a bit of hard work. But when you once you're inviting guests for dinner. Everyone is going to say, wow, you yeah. know, we, we've been invited to a restaurant, not at home. Hmm. We have to make some magic. What's the magic, Zubair? Mm. This is your orange vinaigrette? Yeah, orange vinaigrette with, with, some, uh, mint? with some mint oil. Okay. There's this mint oil, they prepare it. It's, it's actually made with olive oil, mint leaves, uh, yeah. basil, it's and It's very pine. easy, yeah. Yeah. We just have to cook it together. You have to blend it together yeah. and then uh, cook. Wow, very pretty. Zubair looks very beautiful. And now we have to put some black magic. And this is caviar? This is, no, this is basically uh, dehydrated uh, black olives. Okay, like dehydrated. Mm. And now you ask for uh, black pearls, some balsamic pearl as well. So this is caviar? Yeah, it's basically uh, we make uh, balsamic caviar. It's okay. not like, like natural, yeah. but we make by ourselves. Okay, right. It's only for garnish. Here we go. Lovely. Done. Look at this, such finesse, and I'm sure it's going to taste uh, amazing uh, as well. 
because the bare list looks very, very, very beautiful. I don't even feel like eating it. But those of you who will make this, try it at home. Of course, you don't have to use, well, because he's been in the Italian restaurant for such a long time. He's used everything that's authentic. But yeah, you can minus subtract yeah. a few. That's up it's to up you. to you, whatever you like. If you don't like uh, raw salmon, you can switch with the uh, smoked salmon. Yeah. Or if you want to cook it, you just cook that's it up for uh, seconds. Yeah. Um, Zubair, thank you. Lovely. What is our second recipe? Uh, so, I said second recipe will go. If we are, I, I'm basically belong to Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, why not we do with the uh, pasta? Pasta, my yeah. favorite. This, but this is pasta with? Uh, it's basically pasta with prawns. Prawns, pasta with prawns, lovely. Yeah. The ingredients of spaghetti with zucchini are, you will be needing prawns, 100 grams, spaghetti, 80 grams, zucchini, 70 grams, cherry tomatoes, 20 grams, fresh basil, 10 grams, fresh garlic, 5 grams, tomato sauce, 50 grams, sun-dried tomatoes, 10 grams, olive oil, 20 milliliters, salt and black pepper according to your taste. So Zubair, could you tell us something about this uh, dish? Uh, recipe, okay, please? so it's a, one of the most favorite uh, recipe for the Italians. Actually, they love spaghetti mm. and they love prawn as well, seafood. Uh, actually, basically, it's the name of recipe is uh, spaghetti with spaghetti, gambiri, zucchini. Okay. So spaghetti, pasta, yeah. gambiri, basically prawn Prawns. and zucchini. Uh, we it's all know that it's a uh, vegetable. Okay, all right. So we'll start it with the we are following authentic Italian food, mm. so we have to use prawn with head. Okay. So here we have our prawns. We're using four prawns, okay? So before we go on, uh, prawns uh, offer several health benefits. Uh, they are high in proteins, excellent uh, source of proteins, low in calories, rich in omega-3 fatty acid. It's important for a healthy heart and good brain function. High in vitamins and minerals, prawns are rich in essential vitamins and minerals including vitamin B12, iodine, zinc and selenium uh, it's, which is very good for the thyroid gl gland and your immunity and uh, of course rich in antioxidants, low in fat and supports bone health. Wow, so much, so much yes. in prawns. And, uh, and unfortunately, I cannot eat prawns. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm so allergic to seafood. So okay. we have a uh, first seared our prawn. Why can't you eat prawns there? <coughs> Actually, I don't like to okay. eat seafood. I can. Yeah. I don't like to eat seafood. <laughs> but uh, for profession, for uh, for being a chef, we and have to taste everything. Yeah. But I don't like to eat seafood. <laughs> and you know, it's ironic. Like uh, people in the pastry kitchen, the best people I know, the chefs, who, you know travel all around the world, work globally. They don't like sweets, they don't like desserts, but they're still in the pastry kitchen and, and they're making the best desserts. Yeah, basically we cook a lot, that's why we don't want yeah, to eat. Yeah. So mm. we nicely season our prawn mm. uh, with salt and black pepper. Just lightly seasoned our prawn. Wow. It's up to you. If you want to mix with sauce or you serve separately, it's right. up to you. But I will serve it separately. Okay. This looks very interesting. So any tip you'd like to give on making this, you know? How do we also, of course, it may seem simple, but how do we know that the prawns, prawns are fresh? Any sign, anything yeah. you need to look at? Uh, when seafood, basically not only prawn, when seafood, adoring bad, yeah. it's not fresh, yeah. it's, you know, it's so. not in a good uh, condition. Yeah. So avoid to use that seafood. Can I use yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I you turn, it, turn yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You see? It's wow. very nicely crusted. Yeah, uh, yeah. And he's just seasoned this with salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. It's very simple. In it Italian cuisine, we don't have uh, lots of spices, no, not, uh, uh, we are not using chili, anything. So it's very simple, very easy, only salt and pepper, that's it. 
the other side we also season with uh, salt black pepper only for 15 seconds that's okay, done and what happens when you overcook it it's uh, it's gonna be chewy okay we don't when, want that no huh? we need soft and tender okay Done. So did you know the modern pizza as we know it originated in Naples where? Yeah. Uh, the margarita pizza was created in 1889 in honor of Queen Margarita of Savoy. The toppings represented the color of the Italian flag. Okay. So red, white and green. Red being the tomato, white being mozzarella and green being basil. Basil, yeah. Definitely. There are 500 pasta varieties, 500. I'm sure Zubair knows this. <laughs> but um, uh, each has its own unique name with some regional variation. Uh, popular pasta, of course, is pen pasta, the spaghetti yeah, pasta, penne pasta, spaghetti uh, pasta, parfelle. The most popular is uh, stuffed pasta. Yeah. It is made by their grannies, yeah. Italian grannies. They make uh, specially on special occasions. Mm -hmm. what they is make it homemade. Called? Gnocchi? Uh, ravioli. Ravioli. Yeah. It's. I love gnocchi. Olive oil production, as you all know, Italy is one of the world's largest producers of olive oil, um, mainly Tuscany and Puglia. I hope I've mentioned this correctly. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, of course, is used in everything in yeah. Italian cuisine. Italian cuisine. cuisine yeah. And which is why they. You're healthy people, they're not fat, they're just healthy because they use so much of olive oil. Because they eat good. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so sorry, it's bad. So, one thing you are missing the chef who made this margarita pizza. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention the chef. Well, tell us, please. Uh, the chef Raphael. Okay, His yeah. His name is Chef Raphael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, give, uh, you tell us about the Princess Margarita, but you didn't tell mm -hmm. the chef's name. That's so. his name. Okay. Great. Let's start? Yeah. And of course, when you come to Zigolini, you'll uh, we serve it espresso also. And this is a must in every Italian restaurant. They do have espresso, an inauthentic Italian cuisine. Yeah, it, uh, they have it time. after a meal or before a meal? Actually, they have after lunch. Mm. They didn't have it. Okay, they have uh, espresso before 6 o'clock. Okay, right. -o. And it's like, wow, yeah, yeah. I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't live without it. No. We're not used to it. Like, I like milk in my coffee, but imagine. Okay, we started with uh, our garlic. Yeah. We finally chop our garlic. On the stove. Add some olive oil. Okay, and then saute the garlic. Yeah, we have to saute the garlic. Zucchini. We have to cut in julienne. It's up to you. Whatever you want, you can cut it in that shape. I like to cut in julienne. This is zucchini. This is zucchini. Okay, so zucchini is also known as courgette, right? It's, uh, has, it has a very rich nu uh, nutrient profile. Low in calories, high in fiber. Fiber is important for your digestive health. Uh, rich in vitamins, uh, it's packed with vitamin C and vitamin A, very crucial for your immune system. And uh, of course, rich in antioxidant properties, hydration. Zucchini has 95% of water content, which is why it is low in calories also. Um, potassium magnesium in zucchini contributes to a good heart, healthy heart, 
low blood pressure and low cholesterol. Now and of course, it's very good for you. Zucchini. Yeah. Zucchini. And so also, it's the carotenoids in zucchini, very good for your eyes. Very simple things, yeah. I mean, have carrots, have zucchinis, have healthy food, you'll be healthy. But of course, I, I personally, I used to be addicted to crisps and chips and all, but I've kind of left that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to switch on healthy food? Try it. Yeah, I'll be trying. We have to cook a uh, little, not too much, okay. because we need a uh, crunch. Crisp, yeah. Done. Here we have a sun-dried tomato. Okay. Okay. What's the taste like? Flavor? Actually, basically, it's uh, tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, they're dried in sunlight. Right. It, basically, it's also a dehydrated tomatoes. Right. After they're soaked in oil and so preserved for a long is time. It, is it sour? Uh, yeah, it's sour. Okay. So we have uh, a bit sour taste. We use a little quantity of mm -hmm. sun-dried as well. If you've just joined in, we are making spaghetti with zucchini and prawns. This. Sounds very yummy actually, very delicious. Okay, now we have to add our sauce. It's tomato sauce. Mm. Done. Flip, flip, flip. Nice. And as usual, we have to season with salt. A pinch of black pepper. That's it. It's up to you if you want to add uh, some cherry tomato because I have it, so I add some cherry tomato because I love it. You like cherry tomato? I yes, I do. I do. So the difference it's between the taste of cherry tomatoes and tomatoes is not that. It's a bit. Difference because uh -huh. cherry tomatoes are more sour. Okay, they're more sour, right? That's why they use in pasta sauce and all in pasta. Mm, nice. And now. And now we have to. Uh, we have a short time, so we already boiled our spaghetti for uh, eight to nine minutes. So already boiled. We add now our spaghetti. The aroma, mm, very, very. Uh, this is making me hungry. I love pasta today. That's great. <laughs> it's very simple. It's ready. It's ready it to is. serve. The best thing about pasta is, and Italian cuisine is, its preparation is very simple. They don't use lots of complicated. Uh, many ingredients, you know, the way we have, you know, we have yeah. so many spices. That's so what we are saying, that it's very interesting and easy. Yeah. It's ready. Okay, you know, a little good thing about pasta is it contains lots of vitamin Bs, including folate, that's vitamin B9, important for cell growth and division, and thymine. It helps to convert uh, carbohydrates to energy. So I didn't know that and pasta is low in fat that's great wow and very good of source of uh, energy of course because it's uh, carbohydrate mm. now pay uh, great attention to how he's doing it Just uh, putting this one by one, lovely. And I think after mixing uh, the, you know, the, the sun-dried tomatoes and all mm -hmm. with, with the tomato sauce, it's going to enhance the flavor. That's good. And the garlic yeah. also. So we put our vegetables on the side. Actually, we have to make some nice and tempting food. 
so that's why we have to present it mm -hmm. nicely okay. okay now we have to add our prawns which already we seared looks really nice Add some edible flowers for presentation. Mm, edible what are these called? As okay, this is a, yeah. Flowers. Great piece of art, Zubair. This is uh, spaghetti with zucchini and prawns. This is spaghetti with zucchini and prawn. Yeah. So now we have fresh basil. Put fresh basil on the top. Make more presentable. Okay, done. And now our magic oil. He's using uh, green oil. Yeah, it's yeah. basically mint or basil, whatever you have it, the green leaves. Yeah. You uh, blend with oil, olive oil, and uh, just cook for 30 seconds okay. and you stain the oil. So it basically <coughs> the green oil you are using. Sprinkle some parsley on the top. Mm. Fresh parsley. And now it's This looks so beautiful, everyone. This is amazing, Zubair. Yeah, you see the colors, yeah. different colors? Yeah, a touch of pink, green, red. Looks beautiful. Wow. Zubair, thank you so much. Um, yeah, for, for invigorating our creativity. What is the next recipe we're making? So our next recipe is a uh, grilled trout right. with ratatouille served with uh, carrot puree. That, that uh, sounds very Italian. Yes, it's very Italian. We we'll go on to the ingredients first. Uh, to make this recipe, you will be needing trout 150 grams, capsicum 30 grams, carrot 30 grams, onion 30 grams, bell pepper 30 grams, zucchini 30 grams, tomato paste 20 grams, olive oil 30 milliliters, salt and pepper to taste. Before we start this, a few more fun facts about uh, Italian cuisine. Gelato versus ice cream. Gelato is the Italian version of ice cream. Uh, it's more denser and more flavorful than ice cream, okay? Because it contains less air and fat, and it's also served at a slightly warmer temperature, making it more softer and intensely flavor. Wow, I did not know that. And balsamic vinegar, it's also known as aceto bals balsamico tra traditionally zoli traditionally zoli yay see <laughs> Zubair knows it and knew it. it it was produced in Modena and Reggio Emilia it's aged for around 12 years in wooden barrels wow 12 years to get that flavor yeah, of balsamic flavor, vinegar yeah. that's amazing right Zubair so we started yes. our uh, yes, please. last recipe yes. so we have here trout it's basically fillet. We already mm -hmm. clean and cut in a nice fillets. So we just make a nice grooves on the top, on the skin side. Uh, it make a more uh, like looking more nice mm -hmm. and presentable with nice cuts. 
on a skin side so trout is used more in what kind of cooking uh, uh, it's up to you it's up to you okay. uh, basically uh, when if I eat trout I will only sear it and make it very nice seasoned mm. with salt and pepper just of course uh, Trout is like uh, any other seafood, it's high in protein, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins and minerals, rich in uh, vitamin D, vitamin B12, selenium and phosphorus. Uh, all of these vitamins play a very important uh, function when it comes to bone health and metabolism. And um, it's good for the heart, good for the brains, anti-inflammatory. Yeah. We have to marinate our uh, salmon mm -hmm. fish uh, with the uh, olive oil. Salt. Black pepper. And little bit of our lemon juice. Okay, so we added black pepper. Lemon Black juice, pepper, lemon olive oil. juice, olive oil. We're not adding salt because uh, fish already has a. Uh, we put a little quantity of salt because it already contains saltiness. Yeah. So nicely seasoned with uh, our seasoning, and now we have to sear it. Splash of olive oil. First, we have to. Seared from our skin okay. side. He's made some cuts in it, okay, for the marination. Yeah. You have to sear until the skin gonna mm. light golden and crusty. Okay. It has a very strong aroma throughout. Mm. Here you have it. Nicely. Mm. So while this is uh, this is done, uh, yeah, it's time. near to done. The word pasta comes from the Italian word for paste. Paste. Okay, it refers to the dough made from wheat, butter, and sometimes eggs. Also, of course, it's shaped into various forms, and uh, the various shapes and forms of pasta. Uh, is is uh, how should I put it? It's it de the the sauce you make. It depends on the shape of the pasta, correct? Uh, like no, it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, yeah. so it's it's not necessary not, that no. spaghetti needs to have only the red sauce. No, no. it's up okay, to you. Right. If you like uh, tomato sauce, you go with the okay. tomato sauce. If okay. you like uh, Alfredo, okay, okay, it's perfect. Up to you. Now we have to make, uh, we already uh, seared and uh, grilled our uh, uh, trout. Mm -hmm. Now we have to make our ratatouille. Right. Ratatouille basically is mis mixed vegetables. Mm. So we started our ratatouille with vegetables. We have uh, zucchini. Uh, so I like ratatouille in a small diced uh, vegetable. It's up to you if you like a slice, if you like any type of cutting, you can go with that. Mm. 
And this is going to be served uh, raw. Are you going to saute it? No, we have to saute it. Okay. Besides Italian cuisine, what do you like to make at home? I like Pakistan food mm -hmm. as well. Favorite Pakistani? Mm, yeah, it's a uh, favorite it Pakistani be. dish. Favorite Pakistani dish? Uh, I like bindi uh, masala. <laughs> I'll get the recipe from you. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Can you pass uh, capsicum? capsicum and eggplant? Mm, capsicum, my favorite. Since I like capsicum a lot, I'd like to know more about capsicum. Mmm, the aroma of capsicum. I, I just, I can use capsicum in every dish. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Capsicum. Are you ready, Zubair? Yeah. Capsicum, of course, it's known as bell pepper. It also has a very rich uh, nutrient profile, high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, vitamin A, very important for your vision uh, and good skin, low in calories. It also boosts your metabolism, mm, good for your heart, eyes, the carotenoids here, rich in potassium and of course it's a very versatile vegetable. You can use it in salads, you can use it in your pasta, you can use it in, you know, while you're grilling meat. I love the way it's so colorful. Wow, Zubair. So now we have to sort the our vegetables. This doesn't look like the color of a flag, but it does remind me of a flag. <laughs> olive oil? Yeah, we have drizzle some olive oil. We're going to saute the vegetables and next the step. What else is Next, there? we have to start. Uh, uh, we have to make uh, our carrot puree okay, as well. Okay. So while we sauté this, you can make the carrot puree. Yeah. Okay. What do you say? Carrot puree. We'll start to make our carrot puree. Yeah. I'll I'll do the sautéing. You can make the carrot puree. Tada! We have to add some seasoning, mm -hmm. salt, a bit of black pepper. That's it. Mmm, fresh vegetables. For carrot puree, we need the uh, onion. We cut roughly onion because we have to blend it very finely. We make the puree. Mm. So, onions. We roughly cut our onion. to peel our carrot. Roughly cut our carrot. Where 
vegetables are done. Okay. You have to toss a little bit. Uh -huh. You try it by yourself also. Okay. You can puree it. some olive oil for puree. Okay, we're going to saute this also. Yeah. We need to cook a little bit. Okay. Olive oil. And uh, we need garlic. One cloves is mm -hmm. enough. We only smash it. Mm -hmm. and put it here. When you feel the aroma of garlic, yes, just definitely. add your onions. You saute the onions. And now we can add the, the carrots. Now we add the carrots. Done. Nicely seasoned with salt. Black pepper and done. I like a rosemary a lot, mm. so I add a little bit of rosemary for the flavor and the aroma. Can I also just yeah? Yeah, it's not too intense. No. Yeah, it hasn't. It's not too strong, but yet it, it can give you that flavor, Italian flavor. Yes. Yeah. Mmm, nice. Cook a little bit and then we have to add water. Water. It's because we want to make puree. Did you know rosemary has potential cancer fighting properties? Studies have indicated that compounds in rosemary such as carnosol and rose marinac acid may have anti-cancer effects by inhibiting the growth of cancer cells. Wow, I'm promoting, you know, cell death, cancer cell death. That's, that's something very new for me. Because we don't use ro ro rosemary in, you know, uh, yeah, our I'm own cuisine, but now I think we should. What will happen if I use rosemary in, in if curry? If I give you the very nice aroma. Huh? I think I should use, start using it. Okay, we have to cook for uh, 10 to 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Uh, when the carrot becomes soft, we blend it okay. and make a nice puree. Okay. We turn off our stove. Our carrots are all done. So now we have to blend it very fine until it becomes puree. Mm -hmm. go to blend it. Our puree is done. It's finely blended. You see the creamy texture of our carrot puree. Here we have. You see? It's really nice flavorful carrot puree. You feel the aroma of garlic, rosemary, oh, wow. carrot. This looks really tastes really yummy. I'm sure it tastes really yummy. I would love after the show I'll just uh, yeah. Yeah, you just have it. <laughs> Definitely and you like it. Okay, now we have to plate out our fish. We have our plate. This just had carrots, onions, salt, black pepper? Yeah. That's it. And rosemary. And rosemary. Here we have our plate. We started with our mm -hmm. red tatuli. Ratatouille. Ratatouille is mixed vegetables. Yeah, mixed vegetables. Did you see uh, the red tatuli? Yeah, yes, yes.
now for I think this is the most important step. We have to add our puree. <coughs> okay. We will put like we put it here and a bit like this. Mm -hmm. Mm. You like it? A splash of uh, chili here. We will garnish our plate with uh, some sun dried tomatoes. recipes are so um, how should I uh, put it if you are looking to, to be innovative and um, to probably make your guests say wow these are the recipes it doesn't take that much of time to make Italian cuisine and it's just such a it looks so pleasing to the eyes you know mm. This looks beautiful. The green oil. Mm. This is the dried olives. Here you have them. A beautiful piece of art. Cooking is an art. Presentation is an art uh, because you're just feasting your eyes to the, to the whole color. Zubair, it was lovely having you here. I absolutely loved uh, today's show. A, a rocky start, <laughs> uh, uh, thank but you so. uh, lovely. Thank you so much, Zubair. It was a pleasure having you here uh, at Dine with World. Thank you so much. It's uh, always a pleasure for me that you are having me here. It, I like to teach my viewers. Uh, new, interesting, and easy to cook recipes. Thank you so much. Thank and you, Super. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, special episode. I will call it special because we uh, taught you how to make authentic Italian cuisine. Um, you know, we try. Um, we try that we bring recipes that are authentic, new, and uh, very easy to make. So that you know, when you when you want to invite someone over for dinner or you just want to make something very quickly or short on time you remember what we've taught you and if you don't remember what we've taught you you can always uh, catch our videos on youtube and we uh, upload uh, these recipes every week i'm going to catch you next week with another new episode of dine with world till then take care of yourself Allah Hafiz.